Great morning to be together with you. Glad uh, you have a few moments to join with me today for our daily devotions. Thanks as always for spending a few moments with me. We are um, doing this week, we're, we're doing something uh, a little different. We're looking at the three 16s of the Bible. And um, before I jump into content here, uh, just a reminder that tonight is our uh, Bible study on Matthew. Um, even if you've never uh, joined in on one of our uh, go-to meeting um, Bible studies, we'd love to have you come and join us tonight. That's at 6.30, and uh, the link is uh, on our website. So if you go to sccbranford.org, hit watch, and uh, just scroll down. There's the Matthew. Um, my notes will be off to the right. You'll see the dates of those notes, both in PDF and in Word. And you, you just click on the big picture um, of Matthew there, and it'll walk you through the steps to join us. And uh, love love to have you come and join us. Um, everyone's welcome. Another way just to uh, dig into God's Word. So, um, And tonight we're uh, just past the temptation of Jesus. Jesus is beginning to uh, call his disciples. So um, just a great opportunity for you, a great spot to jump in. Hope that you will join us tonight at 6.30. So today, um, we are uh, going to look at 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 16. Um, again, I've purposely not done John 3.16 because uh, we're so familiar with it. I wanted to do a couple uh, other 3.16s that are less familiar. And uh, so that's what we're doing this week. We're looking only at New Testament 3.16s. Um, and, uh, maybe next week uh, I'm kind of leaning towards maybe doing some Old Testament 316s because it's really, really interesting how, um, these 316s, just how, um, how many of them have just great little, um, tidbits, uh, lessons, uh, thoughts, um, encouragements for us and, uh, pretty, kind of, kind of a cool thing. Um, so we're uh, 2 Thessalonians 3.16, and uh, I really like this one. I think it's so uh, pertinent to, of course, where we are right now with, uh, with everything that's going on and, and, you know, anxieties at an all-time high and worry. And, and, uh, and this is how Paul finishes his, his uh, second letter to uh, the church in Thessalonica. And... Uh, just says this, John, or excuse me, Second Thessalonians three sixteen. Now may the Lord of Peace Himself. So if you're following along in your Bible, circle the word Himself because that is such a key part of this. So now may the Lord of Peace Himself give you His peace at all times and in every situation. The Lord be with you all. Now notice He doesn't say peace be with you, which he does in, in many of his letters. Um, he says, the Lord be with you all, because you, we go back to that himself. Paul explains here to the Thessalonians and to us as Christ followers that real peace isn't found really anywhere else but in Christ alone. That when we plug into and when we stay connected to Christ that's where real peace can be found how how are there some folks that um, find that they have a terminal disease and they're they're okay they they lose their job and they're okay they're um, you know they didn't save it up enough for a retirement but they're okay uh, we can go on and on and on, the pandemic, the unrest, so on and so forth, and, and they're okay. What is it? Well, the secret to it is, is their peace is found not in something. It's not found in an outside source. It's found in a person, and that is the Lord himself. That when I'm, that when I'm connected and in connection with the the Lord when I'm in connection when Jesus becomes my my ultimate focus and my source then everything else 
is put into perspective because that's what's eternal, right? Pandemics aren't eternal. Um, sickness isn't eternal. Uh, poverty isn't eternal. Um, death isn't eternal. And so when we're, we're connected and focused and centered in Christ, Paul says that's where we find peace. So if I'm, if I, if I put Christ first, then Christ gives me peace. Now look, he goes on to explain when we have this peace at all times and in every situation. I, I don't know about you, but there are things and, and the possibilities of situations that scare, that scare me more than others, right? Um, and there's, there's some things that are just absolutely traumatic for, for others that just aren't such a big deal um, for another person. And, and so um, Paul says, for your context and for you and for where you're at and for what you're going through, Christ will give you peace all the time and in every situation. Now, we know later in life, as Paul is winding down and Paul looks back on his life, he says, listen, I, I can be content in every situation when I have plenty, when I have nothing, when I'm sick, when I'm healthy. Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. I've learned in every situation to be content. Why? Because this world is, is not what's permanent. I've set my sights, I've set my understanding, I've set my thoughts, I've set my priorities on the things that are eternal. And Christ is what's eternal. My relationship with Christ is what will last into eternity. So today, can I just encourage you? Um, and it's almost a day-by-day -day thing for a lot of us that uh, one day, you know, we're centered, we're good, it's it's all right, and then then the next, we, we kind of lose that focus again, and it's, it's like Peter out on the waves. As long as he kept his eyes on Jesus, he was walking on water. As soon as he took his eyes off of Jesus, he began to sink, and the lesson there is the miraculous happens in our life, and part of the miraculous is having peace when there is turmoil, all around us, but we can have that peace when our focus is on Jesus. Let me pray with you today. Lord, I pray for every anxious, worried, depressed person. Lord, I just pray that you would grant your peace. Lord, I pray that their focus would turn from whatever they may be facing, whatever they're worrying about, whatever they're, they're um, so fearful of, Jesus, I pray that their focus would turn to you, that they would look for you, the author, the perfecter of our faith, and that in that, looking at you, keeping our eyes on you, our attention on you, God, you grant us peace at all times in every situation. We thank you for that. We ask these things in the matchless name of Jesus. Thanks for a few moments together. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Blessings.